Hello everyone, welcome back again. My name is Jesse and in this wonderful and exciting tutorial, we're trying to see how to use to equate to be able to do some simple binary class equation problem, right? So what we're trying to do is that we're trying to use to equate to be able to predict if based on the parameters given a patient is going to is is, is risk or is having a risk of early stage diabetes, right? So we are using this particular data set from UCI archive and our task is to predict early stage diabetes risk, right? That's what you're trying to do. So we have this data set that contains the various attributes and you want to be able to predict whether positive or negative based on these parameters. So let's see how to work with this. So I'll just go back again to the same place and then I'll just click on data folder. And then here you can actually download the data set to use or I just right click and then copy the link address. So let's go back to our Google Chrome. So I'm using Colab from Google, right, to help our to make our work easy for us. So in case you want to work with it, you can just go back to colab.reset.google and then write some code. So let's let me paste my data URL. So data URL, which is the URL that we got from here, this direct to this particular place. Perfect. And then now let's see how to work with it. So first of all, you have to install to recreate so pip install to recreate, right? So since we are using Cola, that is why we are installing it. But you can also install it on your system using the same approach. So it's going, going to take some time for it to download. So as we already learned earlier on, to create is a very simple alternative to scikit-learn and pandas, right? Which is for machine learning. It was made by Apple and it's having a lot of features that allows you to be able to do your work very easy and then very flexibly. So just taking some time for it to download. So let's see how to work with it. So in case you have any question or contribution, you can just put this in the comment section below and check the links below for some interesting materials to work with machine learning, Python, and then data science. Okay, so it's taking some time for you to install all of these particular packages. So while it's installing, let's load our data set. Let's load the package. So to load the package, as we already did, it's going to be import to create as TC, right? And then we can also explore the package and see whatever we can do with it. But let's load in the data set that you're working on. So to equate uses S frames. So you can just use the S frame to be able to help you do whatever you want to do. So it's going to be my data. So DF, let's finish installing. So let's import it and see. It's going to import it perfectly for us. Very interesting. And now let's load the data set. So TC for to equate dot S frame. And now I can pass in my data URL, right? So this is another way of working with it. Perfect. So that's finished perfectly. Now I can just move on from here and then let's check what we have. So let's preview the data set. So if I preview it, it's going to be df.head just like in pandas. And it's going to give us the result, right? You can actually put the number of columns here. Voila. So this is the entire data set. Very nice, right? So you see all of them are having male, no, female, yes, no. So the other alternatives that you are supposed to find a way of trying to encode this particular data set, right? Because these things are numerical, they are not numerical values. So let's check the data types. Data type, right? And it's going to be very simple. So df dot d type. So it's going to return the data type of each and every of the column. So all of them are there. Perfect. All of them are strength, strength, strength. Even the last one, this is the class. If I check for the target group, so let's plot the value count of class distribution of class right distribution it's the same thing anyway the value count or class distribution for the class so i can just do the same thing as we did this tree fusion right so let's check it out i'll just go back again and i'll just go with df then i'll pass in the class column then I can just go with show. If I go with show, we can also plot, plot it out, right? Voila. So it has given us a, a simple plot of it. You can see there, there is, it's not, it's not that imbalanced. This is okay, right? You have negative and positive, right? Very simple. Now let's see how to build a simple model from that. So since our data set is having only strengths, we can encode them or we can just go straight away with it. Right, perfect. So we have gotten our class distribution. Now let's see. Like remember that our data set is all of them are in strings and integers. But the advantage of two equations is that you can actually work on this one. Right, without encoding them, we can still work on it and it's going to work. So let's go back again to our column. Let's create some columns here, some cells, and then let's 
Just check our feature. So what we need is that we need to get our class or our target, right? Which is going to be my target column. I also need to get our features, right? Target and then our features. That's what we need. So we don't need to encode them. If I go back and I check the data set that we had, it's not encoded. They are still strengths, right? As you can see. But I can just get all of them, all the various columns. So let's call this my features. PDF dot columns names, right? To get all the columns. And I'll be picking the one that we want to use as our features. So the from age till obesity, these are our features, right? So I can just put it here as my features. So let's say my features. Or we can just call this feature names, right? Feature names, right? I'm going to pass it here. So this is a simple list, right? Feature names. And then for our columns, our targets, we already know that our target is a class column. These are targets. So let's build our simple model. I'm going to build a new model. But before we build a model, you must first split our data set data set right and it's very simple I can just go with my train data and my test data they just like in spark you can just go with my data set that I want to split which is going to be in this case we have my df dot random split I'll specify the percentage right for the test data so 0 0.7 so it's going to split it perfectly for us now if I check the shape of this one the shape can see that we are having it at will, right? We have the shape of this particular data set, right? As compared to the original data set. Right, so this is the original and this is the training one. So you can see how it has splitted it, right? So this is going to be the training. And this is going to be the original. So original shape. Perfect. So let's build the model. Right? Now to build the model. To build a model is going to be very simple. I can just come back again and see that okay, I want to build a model, right? You can call this logistic regression model, so LR model, right? Because that's what you're trying to use. Then I'm going to specify that okay, TC dot use logistic regression model classifier is already built there. Then I just specify my data, right? So the first thing is going to be my training data, so training data, right? And I also have to specify my target. So this one goes with the classifier and tell create to create okay create this particular model using the training data and the target which in this case is going to be my class column and my features which is going to be my features column right feature names so this feature names refers to the feature names from here all of these things here right you can actually copy this one but i just made it simple perfect that is all so this is going to create a logistic regression classifier for us and we have to make sure that it's having this thing this is training we spelled it wrong it's train data not training data we call it as train data right that is a name that's why it's given as the arrow so that's what the name so train data test data and that's what you are using to build our model if it has finished building the model it's going to give us the number of examples classes two classes the number of features and then the various training accuracies as it keeps on running over these particular iterations. Very simple. And you can see the accuracy of our model, right? Around this particular point. Now, let's see, we have finished building our model, right? So we can be able to do some model evaluation. To evaluate the model, you can just go straight away the LR model that we created. You can actually get the model summary if you want. You can get the model summary, right? In case you want. Which is going to be the same thing that we had above. So get model summary. The same thing we had above, right? It's still going to give us the same result. Right? It's supposed to be a function. Then it's going to give us the same result that we had above, right? Very simple. So this is a model summary. Very cool. It's giving us all the various information, the type of model, right? And then the hyperparameters used and then the number of servers right the type of server used very simple now let's evaluate the model so to evaluate the model just go with allow then evaluate and pass in my test data right that is how to 
evaluate this particular model, right? Test data. I can actually call it as, let's say, my metric. I run it like this. It's going to give us evaluate the model. And then from this place, I can check out everything that I want to do. So you can get the accuracy of the model, which is very high, very good. We have the area under the curve, also very high, confusion matrix. And you can also see the various classification report, everything that we need. So the F1 score is also giving the log loss is giving the precision recall and this is a dictionary right so since this is a dictionary together with the false positive rate true positive rate very cool since this is a dictionary if i check for the type of this of the metrics right? so this is this is a dictionary right so i can actually treat it like a dictionary to get the accuracy only so get accuracy hope everybody can see it well so in case I want to get only the accuracy, I can just go back with my metric. Then it's a dictionary, so I can just go with accuracy. Right? And I'll get only the accuracy, right? Very simple. Very cool. So that is how to build a simple model, logistic regression model, to do binary classification on this particular data set. Right? Very simple and very cool. We can also do a lot of things, but this is the basic understanding behind it. In case I also want to make some simple predictions, right? To make a prediction. I can also go with the same thing that I have. So here our model dot classify. So you can just go with dot predict. Then you pass in your data that you want to make predictions on, right? So let's pick something from here. So one of the caveats in case you're trying to make predictions as we learned earlier on that, you must always submit a data frame, right? So these are the rules for making single prediction. Right, single sample prediction. You must always submit a data frame. So it must be an S frame. Right. That is how to do that. So in that case, I have to just go back again. Let's pick some data from the test data. So test data. This is one of them. So let's in case I want to pick one of them, I can actually pick any of these particular columns. Yes, no, a lot of these things. So it must be an S frame. So let's create a simple S frame. So let's example one, right? And go with TC dot S frame. Now pass in my dictionary. So let's pass in a dictionary. I'm passing in this particular values here. So this is what the simple S frame we want to put the age, the gender, and all of these things, right? So this is one of the simplest way, right? So this is a simple S frame we are creating, right? So the format we did can sometimes fill. So let's fix it. So I'll just call my data here. This is the data here that I want you to do. I'll paste in this particular data here, right? And then we will not be sending the entire stuff as we did previously, right? If you send it like that, it's going to give us an error. So we just pick all of these particular values. So I'm just going to go back again to this particular plate that I have, pass in my dictionary. Let's go to the data, right? Then I'm going to pass in the values as a list, right? So D dot values. So this is going to give us all the values there, right, as a list. If I check it back again, so this is what we are trying to send. So we have our data, right? And then the entire value as an array, very simple. So let's make our prediction. So it's going to be my LR model dot predict. Now I'll pass in my example one. So it's going to give us our prediction, right? Which is negative, very simple. So that, so that is how to make a simple prediction on a single sample using two equities. You can also get the prediction probability. Apologies, probability is going to be ll dot model dot classify, right? In that case, you use classify and you pass in your example one, right? your sample, right? So this is another way of working with it. So it give us the prediction negative and this is the probability. Very simple. So as we saw earlier, you can actually save the model. So in case you want to save the model, you just go straight away with this particular option. So let's save the model. So it's going to be my ll dot model dot save. Then you pass in the name of the model. So let's call that my DM risk predictor, right? Oh, your classifier. Let's call that some classifier. Then I just specify the date. Today is 27th May 2021. Then dot model, right? Not dot pick, dot model. Right? So that is what you're trying to do. So let's allow classifier because it's a logistic regression 
classifier right that is how to save the model right so thank you for watching this tutorial in case you have any question or contribution you can just put a comment section below so the advantage of using two equations is that you don't we don't even do any preprocessing of the test the entire stuff were in strings right most of them were in strings right yes still we were able to build a simple model with it automatically right so the most important thing is that you just pass split your data sets then when you are building a model just go and specify the particular type of model you want so you have logic regression there's also naive base nearest neighbors all of them dot create you pass your training data your target and then your features and that that is all right we're going to do the processing behind the scene for you so thank you for watching see you in the session stay blessed bye